use your mind as a personal playground. Good morning guys, today is Tuesday, it is day 14 of my menstrual cycle um, which means I am in the ovulation phase of the menstrual cycle and I'm feeling very good, very good today. Slight digestive issues but you know, I have IBS and sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not good. Uh, I've also just like slightly not burnt but seared I don't know my cardigan and I'm so annoyed at that because like this is a really good cardigan but lately I've been acting like it's not brand new but anyways um, so I'm making some tea it's literally 12 o'clock I've already had breakfast it took me ages to get ready um, because I am um, filming today so of course I'm vlogging but I'm, I'm doing some work for a brand that I work for my bike brand so that wasn't decent okay so I am basically gonna be writing a blog post I'm going to be uh, taking some pictures I'm also gonna be filming a reel and um, yeah I'm going to be making some cinnamon buns uh, with like easy roll, gluten free pa puff pastry so we'll see. I read the recipe last night hoping it works well. Um, so it's going to be a really nice cosy autumn day. The weather right now is giving blue skies. I'm a little bit sad because there are a lot of leaves that have fallen from the trees like it's not early autumn and next year I will definitely start a lot of like content creation in September because that's when the leaves turn. I just want autumn to stay forever but of course that cannot happen I said in a blog post or on Instagram it's very contra contrary of me I guess it's counter seasonal of me to want autumn to stay um, for longer than it needs to but what better way to um, learn a lesson of letting things go than in autumn so I need to let autumn go I need to let it come and leave um, and embrace the winter that is due I have to basically like help myself through that because the warmth of autumn is much prettier and glowier and lovelier than uh, uh, winter even though Christmas is in winter so I'm trying to get into Christmas more enjoy it more I am a Christian and I love the um, I love like obviously remembering the birth of Jesus and just yeah celebrating these very uh, faith filled events and so I think that's the angle that I'm going to come up come at Christmas with just because um, yeah I this will be like the third or second time we spend Christmas as a married couple in this house and so I want it to be something that I make as a tradition for myself um, rather than just like, oh yeah, it's Christmas, da 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 da, presents, this, that, and the other, uh, like based on what other people think. Does that make sense? Anyways, it's still October, so let's forget about Christmas right now. First up, we're gonna have some tea, and then we're gonna have, um, I've got like some digestive herbs that I'm going to drink like cinnamon, fennel, all of that stuff. So I'm going to put two tea bags of digestive, digestion tea in my mug, clean the kitchen, not much to be cleaned, but I'm just going to prep it for the cooking and then I'm literally going to do that. My sister's coming as well today so that should be fun. Hopefully she can help me because I actually really did need help with content today. 
So, um, yeah. First up, put this milk away. And let's prep the kitchen for our cinnamon buns. So the recipe is from Well Plated, uh, Easy Healthy Recipes. Don't know if this is healthy, but never mind. Um, and I'm gonna use a gluten-free uh, substitute for the puff pastry. So I will link this below. Um, let me show you the pastry that I have. So this is just roll um, and they do it in Waitrose. I'm not sure if they do it anywhere else. I haven't seen it to be honest. I went to Morrison the other day and they didn't have the gluten free version. But yeah, this is gluten free uh, puff. Uh, yeah, gluten free puff. So I'm going to be doing that. I don't know how much it will make but I'm just going to I'm just going to try and see um, how many grams is this, this is 280 grams and it says that we need, also can we just talk about when you go on Pinterest and you click on a recipe and it actually gives you a 24 page essay on the history of a cinnamon roll and um, what constitutes the puff pastry in relation to the ancestral growth of the recipe. Like, <laughs> just give me the recipe. I know you can jump to the recipe, but sometimes it's just like, oh my gosh. Anyhow, content is content, right? So, um, it says the total hour is, uh, the total hour is one, and it serves 16 buns. I need to be out of this house before it starts raining. I'm not sure when it's gonna rain, but um, the leaves are blowing right now. So I, so my aim is to make the buns. Let me preheat the oven right now. And um, I'm going to toast the pecans um, and just set myself up. What is 17.3 ounces in grams? 17.3 ounces is 490.45 grams. 490, okay. This is 280. So I guess it's gonna make 16, half of 16 is eight. So I guess I'm halving the recipe then, aren't I? Correspondence was Giselle's yellow purse with the gold chain link strap. The zipper at the top was open and sticking out was a flight itinerary. I'm not one to snoop. Stay there. I would be delighted to help you. I said, you put his and reached for my hand. The sensation was pleasingly electric. I knew I could count on you, Molly. He said, playing over our first date in my mind has amplified my anticipation for our date tonight. If anything happens, like the police bother you again or ask too many questions, you just let me know. I'll be there for you.
Right, um, I have finished, I think, doing the cinnamon rolls. They are, they've just buzzed. So let's see if, um, what they look like, yeah? Let's see what they look like. Okay, so they turned out all right. Um, my sister just came and she said, yeah, like that's what they look like. So I'm happy. I'm going to, you can make like icing, you can make icing, but I just kind of don't want to. I just want to get out and just shoot now. So I actually did buy this cream. Um, it, but it will just sink in. Okay, okay, now I'll just follow the recipe. I'll make a quick icing and then, um, yeah, then take some pictures. Right, what tea shall we have? So I need, so the aim, the vision, is to like, basically do something like this, if you can see. So get like a flask and all of their jazz. And um, because the sun's out, we don't need it to be like super, super hot, but I've got this flask. I've got this flask and um, the teas that we have are, let me show you. So we do have like this apple, remember the one that literally smells like chewing gum, hubba bubba apple flavor. Right. So we could do like a rooibos apple situation or we could do a lemongrass rooibos situation or that's it really. Yeah, okay, done deal. We're gonna make this, which is rooibos and apple spice from France. Um, so yeah, let's do that. these syrups that I got from TK Maxx so I'm thinking of um, what goes with apple
So I am ready now to go. Change my outfit, just something casual, cozy, have makeup stains, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to, I wanna take this to the park. Is that, is that? Yeah, let me take it to the park. So I'm going to um, wrap it up. I'm taking a, taking pictures really at the park and then filming shots like like that girl's shots. But this is for the blog. But I do want to make a real I just want to get as much footage as possible really, but the thing is I'm filming more vlogging, but I can't vlog whilst I'm taking pictures, so We are in the park. Got my trusty mate behind me. She's been taking some photos and videos. And we're heading to the lake now um, to shoot the cinnamon rolls. Um, yeah, I've got an idea of how I want it to look, so hopefully it'll be all right. The weather has really, really brightened up, which is a godsend, so yeah. Considering it's been pouring it down. For the last two days, yeah. Like two. I know, because actually I was gonna shoot on Sunday and then literally on Sunday it was it was raining, of course. Thunderstorm? Yeah. See look at that. If we get a bit of sunshine like that by the water, that'd be nice. Let me just do you a favor. <laughs> <laughs> How cool is this? Oh, I'm vlogging now. Take a picture. I am. Take it again. Thumbnail. What, like Alice in Wonderland? He has it. Yeah. And James and Dwight Peach. He thinks it's a bit scary. I couldn't understand because it is a bit weird. But... So, yeah. Jones and Jack Peach is lit. I'm thinking about it. And I, like, I see it as just like, you know. I know. If you, if you brought up to. Um... <laughs> it's an awfully long lead, that. Yeah. It's not mine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's the long lead. <laughs> Yeah, like if you were um, brought up to kind of fear it, yeah. then... That's what I mean, like, I will not raise brave children. Pretty, pretty.
how do you like my cinnamon rolls? Fantastic. Mm -hmm. I did bring my little mugs, but I just don't know if I should actually use them because like, it's not really realistic, really. But sometimes you don't have to be realistic. Sometimes you can be extra. guys this has been a lovely experience um, and this tea is actually so nice it is the apple and rooibos um, and it I put like hazelnut syrup in so yeah it's really really nice Good morning guys, today is uh, Wednesday, it's currently 10.36 and I'm just trying to decide whether or not I want to go to the gym first or go to a coffee shop and work, um, it looks like it's going to rain. So I'm thinking like okay just get it done, just go to the gym, do you run, like whatever whatever and then Eat. but the thing is I haven't eaten so and I just don't really feel hungry um what day is it it's day um 15 of my menstrual cycle so I'm still very much in the ovulation phase um but I just feel very like yeah not hungry that's what happens usually mid-cycle don't fancy like I can't sit down and eat as much like I don't have much of an appetite but I know that I need to eat something especially if I'm going to um to the gym today I have to edit all of the footage from yesterday and write the blog post about yesterday's cinnamon rolls and bike riding and um yeah and then like send that off ASAP so that's really on my immediate to-do list and then I have to just do some reading for tonight's event which is an online Zoom session where myself and another lady who is a um, nutritionist will just be sharing our like our experience on menstrual cycle sinking, what it looks like, what it is, how we can get started right away. So um, yeah, hopefully gonna be doing lots more of those events, some free, some paid. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited. And it, this is just a way to like get me stuck into what I am going to be doing. This is gonna be my job. It's my career now. So um, yeah, gonna do some, uh, reading quickly just to I already like I know what I'm gonna be presenting or sharing but I just want to like do some more reading because I find I don't know what it is but yeah I want to do some more reading so um, it's a very leafy windy day so we're doing um, we're doing some smoothie, right? So we're gonna do a protein smoothie. I found this, I think I've told you guys about this already, but um, this is the hemp and oat milk from Jord. So I'm gonna be um, making that.
this lovely cacao powder gives you lots of energy and is very rich in magnesium and other really great antioxidants and nutrients as well um, and I use it like as a hot chocolate and as a chocolate powder because it tastes like chocolate it's just a little bit more bitter but it's nowhere near that like carob stuff or anything like that it is the good stuff Guys, I found this um, this cup in TK Maxx, and it's glass. I don't know if I showed you this as well either, but um, you can like it seals, so you can do that, and then you can take it off, and then you can put the straw in. So let's do a taste test. Very decent. Um, I've just changed my jacket because I actually really do not like that jacket. I need to just like get cutthroat with things that I don't like in my wardrobe, otherwise it's just pretend clothes and then it makes you feel like you have clothes. Um, right, this fleece I'm never getting rid of. Um, and yeah, like let's just pack the bag and get out now. This is really good. Okay, so I have made it to the gym and I think I might do, uh, uh, I don't know if I should do like, I just don't know what to do. Again, decision making. I was thinking of doing a hit run um, because I like to go on the treadmill. I want to build um, stamina and I also want to build like, um, yeah, stamina. So, so cardio, like lots of running, um, is my thing lately. But I'm like, am I just copping out if I just run on the treadmill every time I come to the gym, or should I do um, a bit of arms? I could do a cardio and arms blast for 29 minutes um, on the Genis app. There's lots of like different workouts for different phases of your menstrual cycle so um, we'll see intense like the sweat I'm actually happy I feel happy when I sweat because I know it's a good thing but I'm like super why did I wear this this is this isn't like 
I need to stretch now. I need to stretch. Wow, that was crazy. That was totally crazy. Good evening guys, so it is now um, some time since I've been in the cafe. I worked for a while, met a friend and then I actually um, went to Sainsbury's. Oh, let me show you what I got from Sainsbury's. Whilst I was talking to my mate in, Sain in Gales, um, we were basically talking about, well, she's a journalist and I was talking about how I really, really love, um, like, I guess it's journalism or just like articles and magazines and just stuff like that. Like I love magazines. Since I was little, I was buying them um, and audio books. And then like, I guess now I'm starting to realize I can actually buy them for myself. So um, I've started buying Natural Health Magazine as you will have seen in my first um, birthday blog. And so I bought that the November edition. And I also bought another magazine as well. I do enjoy the home magazines, but like I find that actually this is more like educational slash for work or career or just like personal development kind of thing. Whereas the home magazines, like they're really nice to flick through. Um, I do enjoy like home content and stuff like that, but I don't think I would, um, yeah, I, don't want to spend money on like home magazines so I bought the simple things November edition do you know what yeah this is good because then it'll get me in the mood for like November so this is simple the simple things and you know me I love simple living this was actually $6.99 so I'm not mad about the price it says when drinking tea just drink tea um, so yeah this one is basically about taking time to live well this edition is called soul it's got like games for longer nights kitchen table gifts um, yeah like lots of things oh actually uh, that's in my Sephora basket right now this skin food um by welder 
Um, so yeah, I got that and then I also got the um, Natural Health magazine, the November edition and it has a little menopause um, like mag in the back which would be actually very interesting to read. Oh, amazing. Okay, this is really good. I'm excited to get stuck in and I'm going to find a nice place to put all my magazines. Um, I do have a, a wicker basket magazine rack in the living room so I might take the books out and put them in there. This evening um, I am just finishing up editing. In 20 minutes I've got to go jump on the call because we're having our introduction to cycle syncing um, Zoom call tonight so I am just doing some last minute reading just to familiarise myself like I don't know it like the back of my hand now um, but yeah it should be really really good we have quite a few people that have said they're attending so I think it's going to be really good I am um, yeah I'm tired so I'm just going to try and like blitz 20 minutes of um, editing and then I will be getting ready for the call so excited like this is me really being yeah like doing doing work and I guess I have to think about it like if this is classed as my work um, even though this one isn't paid but this is classed as my work I have to show up but it's going to be at 7 p.m so this working the working hours are going to be obviously very flexible so that kind of means that i need to reschedule like give myself more breaks so today i didn't really have a break i had a late start in the morning but i ate my lunch sitting down which was fine um but yeah like because i'm going to be going till maybe like half eight today maybe even nine i I want to schedule my time better in the days when I know that I have to show up for work or clients um, in the evening. But anyhow, the battery's gonna die. I need to recharge my battery before the call and just zone out for a bit. So um, I'll show some clips of the call later and speak with you tomorrow. cycle syncing you know or even just intuitive eating whatever has really like shifted um our relationship with our bodies and um and yeah and then we can i can ask them to write down like a few sentences or a bullet point on the following things relationship to your cycle how well do you feel like you know your body how um, like if they feel guilty for taking a day off of resting and how much time and effort do you think their health deserves mm -hmm. and then um, we'll just talk about the fact that like the possibilities of cycle syncing and what it really does beyond just eliminating pain okay yeah. and yeah and then we'll go into like quickly what it is um, why it's amazing. and this can really make us feel lower in energy um, it can make us feel a bit more lethargic and we might not feel like socializing as much. We might want to spend more time on our own. Um, and during our bleed, um, I, I, I tend to be much lower. Um, and obviously this depends. So I just really want to point out here from someone with an iron deficiency kind of background. Um, if you are feeling really tired, um, you know, um, really sleepy and you get cold very, very easily, um, it's really important to maybe get a blood test done and check to see if you are deficient because it's very common um, amongst menstruating people.